Newsflash, <laughs> it's never too late to level up your grooming game. Keep your bush tamed. Manscaped's new lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is every man's cheat code to look good, feel good, and turn the page on confidence this year. Now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with our exclusive offer. Manscaped's fifth generation lawnmower, equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new file blade to go smooth like a dolphin wherever your heart desires. <laughs> she won't be pulling pubes out of her teeth. And for my men who want the full grooming experience, look no further than Manscaped Performance Package 5.0. And oh, <laughs> did we mention it's waterproof? Because a trim in the shower is the only way to start the day. In this grooming kit, you get the trusted lawnmower, Manscaped's ear and nose hair trimmer, and essential aftercare products with the Crop Soother Ball Aftershave Lotion and Crop Preserver Anti Shaving Ball Deodorant. I've been chafing. What's going on? I've got red rash. They even throw in two free gifts. The box is 2.0. Nice. And the shed 2.0 toiletry bag. Even even nicer. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code Green Room at manscaped.com. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer. Let's get in to the episode. Okay, let's get this bitch rolling, baby. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to an episode of Hot Water Screen Room Podcast with myself, Tony Carroll. Yeah, I'm back as well. I'm in fine fettle. Thanks for asking. Well, you know what? I always uh, get excited when the boys from Belfast are here. We've just done a great episode with William Thompson, and now Daddy's home. Shane Todd, everyone. Do you know when you go like the boys from Belfast, people probably have an idea in their head. Like they're audio <laughs> listeners, they're like, that sounds sinister. And then you see me in this pink <laughs> shell suit top, looking like the girl from Stranger Things. <laughs> oh, the boys from Belfast. Are, the Belfast guys here, I'm at your that's, door. That's definitely a song that someone sang that. The boys bit. from Belfast, oh, I was bound to me. Bound to me. Bound to me, A real divisive song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it pokes the boys from Belfast. <laughs> How are we? You good? I'm good, boys. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. You got a late night show tonight. Yeah, fuck. I seen, I seen that, that. I seen that in the lineup. I thought that's not Shane. Shane Todd. He's a, he's an, he likes he's to nine day, thirty he? start. You're in bed by then. See when I say that, I go ideal. If that's AM, that's <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> I would love a night, and I'll been up for three hours at that point. Uh, yeah, I said you saw me when when I arrived. I said, "Well, you go, you do less of a set, and there's no interval to me. Yeah, yeah. We need to just roll in. Just go, yeah, because people good. who come and see me are the same. Like no one's looking a late show. No, yeah. no, nobody's no. looking a late show. I don't like um, it's on, different as well. You know, like the, the audience. You've had like a, a load of ale by then. It's very oh, loud. not Shane's fans. No, Shane's fans. Mate. No, you have a few rogues. There. No, he's a Liverpool no baby. He's a no, Liverpool no, baby. They all, they all wear them like, theatre gloves. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, they all dress like snooker referees. Are you thinking of Michael Jackson's well? <laughs> <laughs> See if I'm it. Oh, I'd love your, I'd love the, the intellectual fact. I think I'm not intellectual. I think you're seen. one of the very few people whose whose fans are way more intelligent than you. You strike, you strike me as someone who's quite thick. Is that right? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I am somewhere. Sometimes I like hold conversation very well. About something smart, right? Like sometimes I can just tap into it and yeah. I'll go, and then you will. I will get into a thing like two nights ago. Me and my wife had a debate. About <laughs> she was talking about uh, my son said something. She went, "Oh, tell you what it is? It was a flamingo on TV." Oh. I said to my son, "That's a flamingo." He said, "You thought you dressed like one." <laughs> <laughs> You look like you sell bootleg and dub CDs. And my son said, that's a flamingo. I said, no, it's... I said, it's a flamingo. He said, it's a bird. I said, a flamingo is a bird. And my wife goes, a bird's anything with a beak to my son. And I said, no, it's not. <laughs> Toad's Chicken. not a bird. <laughs> I love beak. <laughs> I said, chicken. She said, that's a bird. I said, no, it isn't. It's only a bird if I can fly. 
So sometimes I think I'm smart, mm. and then sometimes again I'm thinking no, about turkeys and all this kind of stuff. Birds. Penguins are birds. Pigs are birds. They can't fly. Octopuses have beaks. Octopi. No, I'm joking. It's octopuses. No, they don't. They do. That's how they, they, they do. I'm sure they do. Octopuses have beaks. That's how they, they inject their thingy, the, their prey with venom, and then... Yeah, the beak, but that's like saying the wasp has got a beak because it's got a fucking. No, that's got a stinger. Oh, birds. I'm telling you, it's got a, it's got a beak. Go on, Google that then. There's just a lot of things I'm not sure of. I fall asleep listening to history podcasts. Yeah, I thought you'd been saying my podcast. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't fall asleep. I, I fall asleep so listening to history podcasts. Yeah, the rest is history. Can I, 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 I? If there's a way to show you on my phone what I've been listening yeah, to, yeah, what time yeah, of night yeah. I can prove this. Look into my like. Do you think? Look into my eyes. Do you think I'm lying? No, I swear to God, I right. listen to the rest of history. I just done the American Civil, the three episodes in the American Civil no, War. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing Pompeii. I did Pompeii and Jesus, but what? No, because I fall asleep to it and it has auto play on. Yeah, so it just plays the next episode. I'll go. To That's sleep. the difference. And I said a thirty minute time. Oh no, I'm go, not a maniac. I'll, I'll go. I'll go to bed. <laughs> Like thinking of Jesus, and then, and then it's uh, and then he marched the Jews into Birkenau, and I'm fucking hell, what's Jesus up to? And it was an Hitler episode. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're, like, you're, like, you're all over the place, and I started dreaming about these historical characters. Yeah. So you like history. Yeah, yeah. You like boxing. Yeah. yeah. The Age Ranger, uh, two and zero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what do you call yourself? <laughs> <laughs> <What's your concept? laughs> You should the AIDS ranger. That's what he calls himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's got crumbs. <laughs> <I> ju- <laughs> <laughs> the crone ranger. As oh, you find well AIDS known. ranger. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's it. Every, <laughs> that's it. Right. Oh. Everybody knows Martin Fowler is the original <laughs> Age Ranger on that motorbike. Yeah, that was his gang. The Age yeah, Ranger. Yeah, yeah. Just him. It was just him in it. Um, <laughs> the Crone Ranger. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And be careful. Don't tough. You know what us boxers are like. Don't no. tough talk. Oh, no. I thought you the Pink Ranger. Hmm. Which? It's all about Power Rangers. Because you got a pink jacket. <laughs> Did you go to the <laughs> No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, else, what were you going to ask me about famous historical figures? Because I've started thinking, yeah. I think the cock of history, right? The hardest man in history. We'll do it after three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Who, who's winning the fight out of all of history? Easy. Three, two, one. Alex Genghis Khan. Oh, Alexander the Great would smoke him, lad. No, he wouldn't. Alexander the Great. Yeah. Are we talking hand-to-hand combat? Or, or army against army. He's P for P. One on one, Alexander the Great. He, he defeated the Persian army. Didn't when he was Khan, when he got when he died, he got buried, didn't he? Like, didn't he? like the people who, who buried him got killed. So they didn't yeah. know where he was. And on their way back, they had to go all different ways and couldn't have the. Yeah, like loads of people got footprint. killed, didn't he? Yeah, so. and then he, like centuries after he died, they wouldn't, when he, different countries were occupying uh, wherever he was from, they wouldn't let. They wouldn't let people go within like hundreds of mile radius of it. The what, do you reckon, what do you reckon he's buried in? I know loads about him, but I don't know where he was from. Yeah, but or where currently. he's buried. No, it was in he the country. Yeah. China. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Alexander the Great, mate. Where's he from? Google? No, Macedonia. But there's a bit of there's a bit of debate about where Alexander the Great comes from. Right. So there's a salary from Macedonia, doesn't uh, he? Uh, he was from because it's technically where Macedonia is now. Sorry, can I just interrupt? Did he call himself the Great or was others called no, the Great? No, it got given to him. Oh, nice, nice. Because he was like... Probably the Great. It was like the Persian the Persian Empire was like <laughs> smoking it, lad. Yeah, like yeah. United in the 90s or City now just winning everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And Alexander Great's there was just like this fucking shit team. It's just like, fuck these fat cunts, mate. What man is he? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he's got no fucking budget to work with. And he's like, yeah. fuck it. We, they got top four in Greece, so they got into Europe. And then got some I, money. He went, come on, boys. Come on, lad. Listen. Uh, they're like Mourinho. Legging him to someone. Like Mourinho, like Mourinho was into. Yeah, right. you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a few journeymen, a few older, few, few journeymen, yeah. battle hardened uh, guys. They're uh, knackered. They got Figo with a stitch and all Mike that. Icon, yeah, fe- they had Figo the fucked. Did you have Mike on then? <laughs> no, fe- Figo the fucked. Figo the <laughs> <laughs> Melito the mighty. <laughs> <laughs> they had like just Schneider just. 
pinging arrows from everywhere. Yeah, ping, yeah. Ping, yeah, yeah. ping. Um, so, side of the snide. <laughs> and then he went away to Persia and these Persians were like see this guy here coming over there and then Alexander Great beats fucking Persia away, away. yeah it's that Mourinho clip yeah yeah like, yeah 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 like that, yeah, yeah. Like that to the new guy. yeah fucking Valdez Valdez the victors coming over Valdez, Valdez, <laughs> the victors. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's coming over like, get off, get off, yeah, that fuck yeah. you, lad. Yeah, yeah. He was sick. So, pound for pound, Alexander the Great, I think, is the best person in history in terms of, like, achievements to what he was no, born with. No, Genghis Khan. No, nah, he was born into it, though, wasn't he? No. No. The, well, the complete Genghis, opposite. Because of Genghis Khan, listen. <laughs> Are you a Genghis but Khan? But in football terms? <laughs> he is... Vardy. N- n- yep. Yep. What's oh, like Red Bull? <laughs> and his wife's a grass. <laughs> well, <laughs> didn't <laughs> didn't Va- Vardy got released by a Fleetwood. league club? Young? Yeah. No, somebody else. Yeah, he was at the academy, wasn't he? He got released. Right. Done, done the lower leagues. Sheffield Wednesday. Right. That was Geng- Genghis Khan. Oh. He almost made a career out of spite. So what happened is... He lives on the plains, the steppe it's called. Mm. Nomadic lifestyle, they've got nothing. He eventually gets a wife, right? Why was he ugly? No, it's just, it was hard to get a wife back then. Says he, now. Because <laughs> he, no, he had no status or standing. Yeah, he, was, ah, he, was, right. he was called Genghis Khan. He was a no one. He was called Genghis Khan back then. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> And then Genghis, oh, you know, so nice other boys came along and stole his wife. So he basically, from a different tribe, and he basically went, I'm going to wreck the world. Yeah, yeah. And he did. Oh, so like, it was all over that because someone took his bed I mean, they, they, his armies went as far as Vienna at one point, And it, there was bad weather, so they ended up turning back, which is like... Yeah. Can you do one of Vienna on a Tuesday? Yeah, <laughs> Stoke. But he, they had like his empire f- for the time was like the biggest ever, and loads of the stuff he brought in, like laws and stuff that he brought in, are still still used now. He was the foundation of loads of do stuff. Do you think if his mates didn't steal his wife, he he, he would have made because he he was a shagger one. He had loads of kids, didn't he? Yes. Yes. When, when, when he got his wife took off before, oh, is that a myth? Is That's it? a yeah. myth. myth that oh, one, in, one in, was it like, the myth is that one in a hundred people on earth is a descendant of Genghis Khan. Yeah. What are some of your favourite myths? <laughs> um, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, though. The yeah. Genghis Khan one. It is. That's mad, isn't it? Imagine I'm like... I like the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, John Parry. Yeah. I said myth, so. Because that's true. No, the myth about... No, it's not. It's not. Oh, no, no. The myth about John Parry. What's that? You don't know the John Parry Bermuda Triangle myth? No. So... Back then, it was just called the Bermuda Three Points. And then, when Snooker was big in the late 80s, when John Parrott <laughs> and Stephen Hendry were like, you know, yeah. the big dogs, yeah. they had a game over there to like try and promote it. In Bermuda? In, in, yeah, Bermuda. in Bermuda. Yeah. And um, <laughs> Parrott's like, fucking yeah. hell, have you part the triangle? And the Bermudan's like, what's his triangle? And went, you know, the three points. And went, oh, that's how the Bermuda Triangle was named. Yeah, yeah. Right, but what does that have to do with John Paris? Because he was he the one. It. He was the one who. Uh, yeah. Hey, where's the triangle? <laughs> yeah. Um, what about Prince having his ribs removed to suck his own dick? Oh, it's Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson, that was wasn't it. Mm. There's also a weatherman back home. People say that is on local TV. <laughs> <laughs> but but here's the thing: Are you guaranteed to be able to do it once you have the ribs removed? Because that'll be a lot to go through. To then finally, when you heal, you're like. Whoa, you, cl- you know, can't have you, well, clear the schedule. Can't have your belly removed, can you? I, 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 so if I got my ribs removed, I'm going to suck my cock, would I? You'd just look like a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> you would. What do you mean? You'd just look like a puddle of porridge. <laughs> it's just all <laughs> the lumpy. <in> it's <laughs> no, you would, though, wouldn't would you? Would you? Would you suck your dick if you could? Nah. Nah. Fuck that. I, I'll, I'll tell you what. I think out of everyone you guys know, I think I could... Be the closest. I think you're to the most be, athletic person we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ground with people. I like think ourselves. I'd give it a chance. Here's the thing. I think I might. But if you wank yourself off, why would you suck yourself off? Uh, maybe because of the taste. Maybe. Yeah, and 
I don't think you you'd be comfortable doing it. By the time you maneuver into that position, you're not going you're not going right to the shot. Do you know, like like when you get caught so having a wank when you're younger, it? be mad if you got caught. Never got caught. Did you get caught? No, no. Never got caught. Do you, do you know, it would be mad if you got caught by him and my dad, like, sucking yourself off on you. Like, I think they'd, like, they'd send you a ball. I don't think they'd be annoyed. Something. I think they'd be impressed. They'd <laughs> <laughs> be like, hey, yeah. Yeah. show us how to do that. You Come get on. more pocket money than <laughs> <laughs> You should be rewarded for that. Come on, we've got a Paralympian on our hands. <laughs> oh, if we can do that, think what you can do over the Sherpees. Make it a Paralympian. Who's your favourite Paralympian? Oh, your fa- well, you do you know what the right answer is? All of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All of them. Who's what's your favourite sport? Oh, there's this girl who does archery with her feet, and it reminds me of this guy called Simon, who used to play FIFA with his feet and beat me. He used to play FIFA with his toes. And but yeah. I think my one of my myths is he had locked toe, and it was always on R2, so he was always sprinting. Right, right. <laughs> locked toe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lockto, <laughs> the Lockto monster. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know? By the way, Lockto, <laughs> the character of you that sells end up CDs. You know what your name is? Lockto. Lockto. All the car boot sales in Liverpool. Yeah, Lockto. You just get locked up, but now I'm on the streets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you guys watch those videos of the guy who, when people come out of jail, he's like, "What are you in for?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's classic. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, it's funny because all, all, shout out Blackburn. All, all the prisoners think they get arrested again. Like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Fuck, I might go back in. <laughs> they think it's a nonce thing about. I've already yeah, been yeah. done by this. <laughs> you threw my all these. <laughs> what are you here for? It she said she was sixteen. You, you can't just walk up to prisoners like that, don't Because no. uh, they got because they're like on edge, aren't they? Like, yeah. what? What? But is he there all day, or does he know they're getting out at a certain time? Jeffrey brings a pack lunch with him. <laughs> oh, definitely. Because yeah, he's there all day. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And then he, give, he gives like <laughs> shit advice, like just look after yourself, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like all you're finding out is what they did and how long they got. Yeah. I don't know what bar that it is, but I watch it and I like it. I I, I like on it's like the TikTok things. I, I keep watching. I fell. You know, there's the ping pong balls. Off the pans on the stairs. Yeah. And he's like, dink, no. dink, 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 dink. And he's just there all day. Is that the start of Wild Wild West? <laughs> 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 nah, no, yeah. I love aesthetically pleasing ping pong balls and cups. I like the hydraulic press. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. Cool, what's, what's your favourite thing you've seen in it? Um, I like things. You I like, like the CDs, actually. Yeah, the ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, CDs are sick. Cause yes. Just, yes. <laughs> Oh, t- I, d- I tell you what I do like hot balls of metal. Oh, oh yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. some creme fresh or something. Have yeah. you seen the one where it's like jars of stuff down the stairs? Yes, I don't like those. Don't you like the ones? No, I love it when it makes the bottom like yes. Yeah. Oh, where it tries not to smash. Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, I like the ones where it's like uh, they swing <gasps> the, the weight and it's like big yes. big containers, glass containers, like blue and red paint in there, and yes. they swing and it smashes in. It's fucking everywhere. Mm. Someone does that with glass bottles, so it would be like a bottle of vodka versus a bottle of whiskey. Oh, I've seen like them tournaments. Uh, that's my yeah. that's my favourite thing. I like it. I've it's seen like them the tournaments. commentators are sick on it as well. It's mad that it's like, thing. Chinese has made us all like all our autism come out, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've haven't they? Yeah. I, and they keep us on and now what they're going is if you make videos on TikTok and stuff, they go, We're only gonna pay you for long ones. So you have to mm. be watching longer and making long so they're basically like Beyond this, but what about didn't they go or did I make this up when Trump or somebody was like or the president was like we're getting rid of TikTok unless they sell it? Yeah, I think Trump said that. Yeah, I think he did. No, yeah. but maybe it's Biden. No, it might have been Trump. You know, right? Meant no, to be Biden was saying it about Lycos. That Lycos so you can find your information too quick. He's, he said, "Jeeves, Jeeves is wrecking our minds." Like, <laughs> have you asked Jeeves to do anything recently? He takes fucking. He's so like. Like it takes so long You need a Ouija ball To ask Jeeves Yeah now. you'll wait like, You'll wait a week For an answer for Jeeves <laughs> He keeps saying Come in <laughs> He's not like He had more charm Back then though Didn't it Was it like us Or was it one of those Where you could send One free SMS a day oh, I love like us was sick. Oh it was unreal Do you remember, do you remember Having to text From a fucking computer To the girl you like Oh yeah 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 That's sick that one, yeah. Do you want to Oh the ringtones as well The ringtones are good We had to te- buy ringtones Do you ever just sit And browse your ringtones Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Does that you're you're think you've been a as a grand vals well to and you're yeah, like yeah. I've been this all my life but I'm thinking about changing it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and you're just browsing those. those I ringtones. went on a date once and changed my ringtone to a Mighty Boo song, so she thought it was quirky. Right. Oh <laughs> God. Bring me a polyphonic or the real no, no. the real S- ones. The soup song. I paid one point fifty for Angel by Shaggy polyphonic. Right. <laughs> that cracked up. That's great. That's cool. cooler. Bam, 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 bam. Ba, 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 oh, it was a polyphonic ba, one thing? Ba, yeah, yeah. Polyphonic, yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And you used to get re- WWE wrestling themes. Polyphonic. Wow, it's your best wrestling theme. You, are you asking me what was the best f- as, as a polyphonic no, song? Or are you saying my, what is my, overall? My walkout song for stand-ups, a WWE song. Here comes big somebody. Show. Shane McMahon. Ah, oh, big show. Rikishi. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that was a wrestling song. Rich, I had, I had a two. Yeah, I thought. Here comes the money. I had a two. On the two tours ago, I would go from the start of that, and then in the something else. Can't remember what it was. So I've stolen. But it's a great walkout. It is. Thank you. Yeah, it's It's great walkout. But if you're asking me best walkout ever, WWE song, Shawn Michaels, "Sexy Boy." Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, I'm not a boy. Sorry. Yeah. My favorite though is where it's all kicking off and then there's glass shot of a stone cold. I I hear a stone cold. Used to get me hyped. I hear the good guys. Smack me, dad, when I come on. Fuck. I hear the good guys. I like the villains in wrestling. Yeah, but he was that more of an anti hero. Anti hero. He was like, uh, you know there was no one's auntie, I'll tell you that. Do you know what was good? He was like, <laughs> was like um, what, what were your aunties like? <laughs> <laughs> Christmas dinner. <laughs> uh, they're cocks. I used to like edges as well, edges was cool. You think you know me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this it wasn't that, that, was so it wasn't that <laughs> under the breath. That's you, you think you know me? Yeah. <laughs> Remember Val Venus? Hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to kiss Ben? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, use bad man money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say what you want about the man. Great theme tune. <laughs> Great theme tune. Yeah. Do you remember Theodore Long? Someone going to get the ass kicked. Someone going to get the ass kicked. I don't Matt remember the song. I don't remember the song. Some, Did you see Theodore Long? Yeah, he was the referee. Oh. Tina, the guy I supported when he was in Ireland recently, and I stay with him. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're bringing that up, but um, was it D'Lo Brown? I, I, Someone I don't know. Get the oh, it was Mark Henry, I think. What a referee had a walkout tune. Yeah, because he, he he became commissioner, didn't he? Ah, oh, right. So, Terry Long. Can, can we actually speak about Theo Vaughn? Like, what what was that like? And so, like, did you would you spend much time with him? Not really, no. Um, I'm. I'd say you should be exactly the same. I'd be quite standoffish, but play. Yeah. If yeah. I was on someone's tour for a while, like I wouldn't be. You know, we know if you, comedians. If you boys, yeah. If you mates. Yeah, yeah, but what I mean, fan girl, you mean? You, you wouldn't be like yeah. trying to yeah. st- constantly strike. You say hello when you walk in, yeah, like yeah, what's yeah. crack, and then if they want to chat or whatever, yeah, great. Yeah. But if not, I'll just do my own thing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I, yeah, I just did my own thing. But he was like. I, I, I really like him. I yeah. thought he was really, really sound. Um, I think he's probably our dream guest, isn't he? Yeah. On a podcast. I think, oh, I think that'd be Shane great. Gillis would be I think he'd, I think he'd suit him with us too. Like, yeah. Oh, me and Phil when we're in together, baby. Yeah. yeah. That's what we get comments like that all the time. Yeah. Saying, like, Jamie's the Theo, the UK Theo. Yeah, Von. yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah. the pair That's of them meeting. That's version. I get Theo Von from wishing on all the time. People yeah. say I have, like, the, 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 the UK Matt Reif. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got called Bear and Matthews the other day. <laughs> Bear and Manning. She said, "Oh, you're you not like that Bear and Matthews." <laughs> <laughs> oh, the comedian went, "It's Bear and Manning." <laughs> Bear and Matthews. You fucking tehi, fucking drumstick, fucking prick. It's in the pub as well, really like that. Where all? Oh, there's Bear and Matthews. <laughs> Fuck off. You do what you call Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I had to guess. Would you guess what he Bernard? I guess Bernard, so God, yeah. Come on, I'm a Tony, mate. Can we I pick? Yeah, Tony. But, yeah, but let's, let's, let's think of names we think we would be if, okay. we, if we didn't know us. So Bernard, yes. Uh, like Terry, if you, but maybe that's because you mentioned uh, Theodore Long. I think something for you like Colette. <laughs> Strong lesbian name. You know what you'd be? Garrett. 
<laughs> no. Or Garth? Garth. Garth. Yeah. Yeah, like a Garth. <laughs> Dilbert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like the polite lesbian in a lesbian couple. No, I think yeah, you're going to Chris me. Right. Mm. Chris, yeah, something just, you know. Right, it's not got the wrist for Chris. It's a client, he's a little lesbian man. I like him. <laughs> he's a Fergus him. Fergus? <laughs> an angry little Fergus. You no, know Alan. <laughs> Alan, yeah, he's an <laughs> Alan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When you said that, Shane turned to me with what looked like a sympathetic look, and I was like, oh, thanks, Shane. And I didn't realise he was just thinking on how yeah, to make yeah, it worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some window cleaner jeans, man. Like. If you were, if you lived in America, Colton. Colton. <laughs> would be a Colton. What would I be in America? Skinny. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you'd have, a, you'd be like, there would be like big sausage or something. <laughs> so you like, can't call me big sausage. Like, oh, uh, big sexy. Yeah, you can't call me big truck. sausage there. Like something to do with truck. trucks. Yeah, truck. flap it, flap it. <laughs> like, <laughs> truck, just truck. Do you reckon, what would you reckon my job would be if I was grew up? In oh, America? You'd, I'd be a truck driver, wouldn't I? Oh, truck driver. Long haul oh, driver. Oh, like a, an oil baron driving, just stumbling yeah, across. Yeah, yeah, like you have britches. You have britches on. Yeah, yeah. He's just cooking oil. He's <laughs> like, it's the like just cooking oil. He, he, yeah, yeah. He, he lives on a crisp and dry mine. <laughs> And like you know, there's you know when people go like ice fishing, and just that <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like crisp and dry ranch. <laughs> you be a comedian because you've done America, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Is it good America? It is, but it is, it is like different. They said weird. Uh, they don't drink even anymore. Yeah, like. well, they have two drink minimum, and they don't on like I'm trying to say like in UK and Ireland shows you d- do not need a two drink minimum. No. Yeah, yeah. But like people will like they'll have people roll. Well, you not allowed to have more than that. No, you can have more than that, but yeah. they have to have two drinks right, because they don't it. spend money. Ah, oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. Right, and yeah, they don't have right. an interval as well. Oh, like they? they think it's mental that we have an interval on the show, but then I'm trying to say, oh, but people want more drinks, yeah, because yeah. they have table service. Every club has table service. So while you're on stage, people are saving drinks. Yeah, that's but they're good, that. but they're like, that's just the way they operate. But they're good at it. Like yeah. they're so they keep good. quiet. And yeah, 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 yeah. There's away, one. Um, there's a club here that used to do table service. It's nice, nice stuff club in that not club in that. But they have a, a light. But because it's so new to the audience, so they're like you mid bit, and they're just like, "Yes, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. Peroni." <laughs> yeah, but we need like we need more barriers to stop people drinking the shows. Uh, yeah, true. like we don't need yeah. to make it easier. We don't need to enable it more with table we've service. Had a, we've obviously been in the live shows every week on a Friday, and it's been like half nine starts, quarter ten starts, and like some of the audiences have been fucked, mate. Like because yeah, we have uh, two keys of coke minimum. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> on the way more, in. More is optional. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been it's been hard, and because they've been like dead rowdy, mate. And you yeah. sat, you you putting them down, and just keep going back, and you're like, I can't be. If people are popping set. pills at my shows. It's Baraka. <laughs> 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 I'm like, give me a bit of that. Oh, you just have a few scumbag. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. I do get it. I do get a mix right, like each yeah, yeah. and every. Yeah, it's it's all it's all pretty mixed. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's the crowd and stuff. Sniff him. Sniff his audience, man. Oh, right. They're the sort of nice audience that would let you do that. They'd oh, be like, let this guy do oh. what he needs. You know, <laughs> he needs to do this. <laughs> Did you watch Water Slide? Well, <laughs> 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 get away from that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to going over to Belfast uh, in January. Can't yeah. wait. Yeah. What the problem is, I'm opening in Liverpool, yeah, first show. And then I'm in Belfast the next night. I'm like, it's shit, oh. isn't it? What's wrong with that? That's ruthless. Because I, I I drink a lot, don't I? So fucking. You doing a you doing another Liverpool though, probably? I guess. Yeah, yeah. I want to close. I close. I want to be last show being Liverpool as well. What are you gonna do during the day when you're in Belfast? What day's your show? What day of the week? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Uh, but are you like are you a see the sights guy or? No, no, I'll be in bed. Bed <laughs> till the show. You know, an activities guy. Would you be in a like climb say the hill say, say we're say there is a real oil barn mm. who is for, is for half from Liverpool half from Northern Ireland and he goes he loves us like and he goes I want to take the boys out to the states on a tour and everything's laid on for us and we are in Texas we're in Austin Texas yeah. tomorrow right 
and I say to you both, here, there's this hike. No. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's under a mile. It'll take 20 minutes well, to get up to the top, okay. and there's breathtaking views of Austin. I hate views. What's I the point of just looking at it, though? Scenery is... I just Google it. Scenery is fucked, sad. Scenery is... What do you get out of that chain? But it'll be a sense of achievement when we get up to the top, and we'll look around, and we'll just... We'll breathe it in, and we'll go... Yeah, and see, like, a Windows 2000 display pick. I'm not about that, bro. I've been XP since 05, bro. <laughs> <laughs> XP was fucking brilliant. XP was sick, Yeah, XP mate. was great. Uh, but you, what if I... What, okay, what if I I'll go... I'll go to, like... Like I went to Pompeii, right? Like the actual town where they all got fucked off. Do yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's six. It's re- you can you can feel it. You can't feel you can't feel the view. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a feeler, man. What's the worst thing to be doing in Pompeii when the ash cloud hit? What position? Trying to suck your own cock when the ash cloud hit, <laughs> and you're trying to suck yourself <laughs> off. <laughs> well, you the, can't see where you are. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why none of them got out of the way was like, yeah, yeah it's just. Listen, it's only a bit of rain. Do you know what I mean? Just relax. Sound. We'll be sound. We'll yeah. be sound. We'll be sound until they're not sound. And what happened? I, I, like, I imagine... The big... Look. It's like... It was raining like molten rock. Because the, the volcano went, fuck off. Pff. Yeah. And then ash cloud. A massive ash cloud just smothered the town. It got and buried. It, ra- it rained fire? Rain fire. Just... It got buried under loads of asphalt and lava. And then in like 1758, this guy was like, fuck it, I'll need to make a well here for me little farm. And he's like, dink, 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 knocking on some marble. Some guy said, ah, <laughs> I've been under here for a <laughs> 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 oh, fuck you on it. I bet you there was one guy preserved so smug. He was the guy who told everyone to run. And yeah. he's just hands on the hips. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Oh um, yeah. yeah, when it rains, molten lava. And then, and then when they're there, they, fa- they, fa- they found the bodies <laughs> in like you know, like screaming. Fuck off! They found the bodies and then they put them skeletons in plaster cast for me, mu- like, and it's like a museum there. There's a museum of dead people. Yeah, it's mad. Tony's such an optimist. He's it's like mad. full yeah, ash cloud, yeah. hit Pompeii, molten lava, killed everything. And he's like, did they survive? Yeah, I love that. I thought they just dodged it or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or just went inside. Yeah. Yeah, it's shut the door. Well, they, they, made, it, they, they made like a real. What happened? What, did the houses get destroyed and all that? Then? Yeah, everything. But <laughs> there's been excavations. <laughs> and, sorry, I know. Uh, listen, there's been excavations. Yeah. And they've yeah, it just fell off here. Reco- just like recovered them a bit. It's the whole, the whole is a city, is it? The whole town. Imagine you town. just got your house done up too. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh, god. Just put that hieroglyphic up. Just got it. Yeah. Just, just got a uh, conservatory done. Fuck yeah. And that ash cloud's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and then the they, they found it in seventeen fifty and then Charles the Third of So Naples. every hang on a minute, everyone died in this town. Yes. Not one person survived. No, no, no. <laughs> Just fucking flatland no. with fucking ash and shit. Yeah. But they found they found a diary of someone who was saying like so they have. It's the very hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> it suddenly feeling really warm. It, it was. It was Nellius. D- Nelly. Nellius. Nelly. Nellius and Kellius. <laughs> <laughs> what a dilemma. <laughs> oh, <I'm dead. laughs> so take off. That all was my ringtone, robes. actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. That's a weird start to the ringtone. Oh. Yeah. Just <laughs> uh, one free time, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I love yeah. you. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> this town gets flatlined. Yeah. You find a diary and someone said, fucking hell, it's yeah, chaos yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how was the diary preserved? Well, it was like scrawlings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> 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 I am practical for a diary too. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Just Don't look at there. this wall. It's <laughs> private. <laughs> Dear diary, Nelly has said he was hot and took off his robes. <laughs> took off his robes. <laughs> Pick up all your robes. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> and then, and then, so is the town by there then that that discovered this place? Like, yeah. Like, so oh, this is fucked, isn't it? So I got found in like the 18th century and Charles III, the King of Naples, he went, fuck off, dig all this. So we got this guy from Spain, the world's best digger. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> he was like, he was like, he was like, fucking unreal digger lad. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he was a sick digger. Lad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so he's digging for all these like, you know, statues and that. And Charles the Third kept it, and he went, "Don't tell anyone this, yeah." Because we're in we're in the seven, we're in the eighteenth century. He and said that. Yeah, and it he was said like, we're in the eighteenth <laughs> century. Yeah, it's yeah. like, bro, it's frowned upon. You know, it's like go looking in the past. You know, because of the Roman Empire and all that. They're like, we don't want to bring all that up because Caesar was getting sucks off boys, and we don't want to hit that shit. So. Yeah. So he hoarded all these scrawlings and <laughs> statue heads. Do you know what I mean? Statue heads. So like yeah. the head off heart attack. Like loads yeah, of them, yeah, loads, yeah, of them, yeah. loads of them, <laughs> loads of them cunts knocking about. And then he hung on to it and that. He opened it as a museum and stuff. And then the 19th century, there's loads more discoveries and they discovered, they discovered a guy who was like a bit of a, <sighs> bit of a neighborhood watch guy. So like, he was like, oh yeah, this busy cunt. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah. found his they found his house. So he was like, not like a mayor, but Joe like, oh I'm organising um sports day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, you know, we've got the dinosaur egg and, egg and spoon race and that. <laughs> <laughs> so they find him and they're yeah. like, fucking hell. So this guy is good because he's written on his wall in his house. His wife must be fuming. But he's he's written all like Joe, what stuff is? Joe, like, like shop and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like shop here and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they found these barrels and they like scraped the barrels and like, fucking hell, this must have been where they kept the soup. So they can paint a picture of modern day Pompeii life. Yeah. And it turns out there was outside this bar and the bar served hot food. It's like mind blowing. Do you know what I mean? Because they found rabbit bones in the barrel. So they went, oh, they must have had rabbit soup with a pint. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then um, then that all happened, and one third still undiscovered. It's sick. And people live there now? They don't live there, no. It's fucked. They have, like, little villages near Mount Vafusius. So when you went over Mount there... <laughs> for, for so when you went over there... It's just <laughs> Thank you, Blade, for Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> so when you went over there, you got a boat over there or something? Yeah, you got well. You got. Like, you, you get. Do you stand on the land where it happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you walk round and it's just not in there. You walk round. You have like a guy. No, they have. Like, they've unearthed like the swimming baths and that. There's a swimming bath. Yeah, mad. And they knew how. They have to, a slide. They knew how to regulate the temperature. They knew how to have a hot pool and a cold pool. By That's not really mind blowing. By, di they by did directing that. water. No, but back then. Yeah. Pompeii time. Yeah, true. They didn't have taps, bro. Yeah, yeah. So you got it. So when you went to this Pompeii, what's it called? Pompeii. Pompeii. So you got a boat there, and then you got it on the land, and it's just fucking not there. But then there's people dead underneath you. What? No. No. He's saying too. they've uncovered loads of it. They've uncovered loads. So of you it. can. So you can walk around the city because they've dug it up. Imagine you uh, got somewhere and it was just dead land, and they went, "You want to see what happened under here? We wish we could tell you, but just imagine." It. Ah, right. And then I'd then say when I did a puffin tour once. Out of season. Oh, Brighton. No, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Rathlin Island, just off the coast of Bally Castle. Has a... I don't get that. Oh, Brighton's the gay capital of... Yeah, but what's that do with puffins? <laughs> <laughs> it's puffin a gay term. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? No, it's a flamingo. All, it's all but... <laughs> that was so funny, man. I was on Rathlin Island with a few mates doing a gig and... It's a, this like six by four mile island, proper island you gotta get a boat to. Population like 120 or so, and we're walking around looking something to do. And then and it started to rain, and then this guy pulls up in a minibus with like like a dodgy old minibus with like a panda on the side of it. And he just wound the window down and he went, boys, it's raining. Would you lads be interested in doing the puffin tour? And we were like, yep, yes we would. So we got on this minibus, just us drive around the island in silence. Someone asked this guy a question. Like, mate, what the, what year do people first settle on the island or something? The guy's like, is that about puffins? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's like, well, don't ask it. You're on the puffin tour, right? This guy, <laughs> nuts for puffins. <laughs> and then we drove in silence then for like 20 minutes. This guy's raging. And then um, we got the edge of this rock on one side of the island, huge big cliff. And the uh, guy brings us out and we're like, you know what? We did this to get out of the rain, but this actually might be pretty cool. And 
we'll start walking up and this guy's like popping off, like getting real excited. He's like rubbing his hands. He's like, you lads are going to love this. We get up to the edge of this cliff and we look, he's like, come on. And we look over and there's this like giant rock in the middle of the sea and there's nothing on it. And he's like, that's it boys. <laughs> we're like we're waiting for the puffins, right? Like as in he probably knows the time. Yeah, yeah. They land, they must yeah. do laps of the island. And this was like you know, middle of summer or something. And we were like, When will the puffins be here? He's like September. <laughs> <laughs> but he goes but he goes, Look down there, lads, and he and imagine 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 that rock <laughs> covered in puffins. He's like, This is the number one puffin spot anywhere like this is the c- puffin capital and we couldn't really work it out and then he's like look at the side of my minibus what is that to help your visualization i was like panda he's Fuck. it's a fucking puffin <laughs> he's raging right he's like it's a puffin don't know like grab it <laughs> <laughs> it's a panda right? and uh he's raging and um and then we just stood there in silence and he's like back in the bus that's it that's a puffin tour fiver <laughs> Five. 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 And he asked us to review it. He goes, oh, TripAdvisor, drop me a review. Did you read any of the reviews? Or the reviews? Well, people had done it at all different, like, the right times of year, so they loved it. Yeah. So yeah. we got a sense of what it could be, you yeah. know, at the right time. You should have just said, like, love the panda on the bus, but no pandas, no yeah. puffins. Yeah, he was raging like him. That's like a dull boy thing, isn't it? Or just yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still <laughs> running the puffin tour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never been on a tour. Huh? I've never been on a tour. Did a Civil War one. Yeah. Where? Barcelona one. The Civil War in Barcelona. Oh, all right, but I think when you say Civil War, I assume you mean America. No, nah, no, nah, Barcelona, the Spanish Civil War, bro. You good? Sick. Went to... Um, we Who went, won it? We went to... Spanish. We went to... Who was fighting? What? Spain. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a derby theme, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, and we went to this cafe where uh, who's your guy who fucking written Martin Kemp? No, he written 1984. George Orwell. George Orwell, yeah. Yeah, he I was, don't know why you're looking at me to see how yeah, I was. I've never read any of his books. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he he was. I've like, never read the book. He was lived, he on the tour? He lived in Barcelona, and he went. Oh, this is. It's like you know, J.K. Rowling in Edinburgh. Right. And, uh, this is where written. It inspired. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. But he got stuck right into the wall, mate. He was like, "Listen, you're not fucking shitting out now, are you, Georgie?" He went, right. uh, "Nah, you know, we hope he's winning all that." He went, "Yeah, we'll <laughs> fucking come and get, get a gun then." So he got involved. Oh well, oh well, was gotten. But stuck was he not right. around recent times? Yeah, it was nineteen thirties. Is that when the Civil War was? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. right. Okay. Was that Catalan? Catalan, you know, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. They won the new, obviously. Yeah, Ca- Catalan days. Because like they're more of like all their soldiers were able to be in any formation <laughs> yeah. on the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. Like they could interchange and move. Just so passing guns about the guys in the front line could move back <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's just one big gun from the back from the big big Samo. <laughs> it's Grande Sam. <laughs> Yeah, I've never read the book, me. <laughs> would you say, would you say the would you say the Catalan army were tech attacker? No, I won't. I won't trivialize the atrocity like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got messy there, like. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like I like doing tours. Tours are good. I do. I've never done a tour. Never read a book. I do the so hop maybe on, I hop could, off. Maybe I could do a painting special of me reading a book on a tour. <laughs> I think pick one or the other. <laughs> it would be funny me just on this so reading the book, though, wouldn't it? Uh, I, yeah, I, think, I think you know what all I'd like to do. Um, something that interests me. Um, Michael Neverland Ranch. Maybe a sex tour, sex museum tour. I've done it. Oh, I've been to the sex yeah, museum. I haven't done Shit. one of them either. Shit, was it? Yeah. Ah. I'd like to do like more macabre tours. <sighs> do you know what I'd like to do? I'd love to go to the grave of Escobar, like a tour on that. That'd be sick, because oh, that's what like, I'm into. I'm in this Facebook group, the Ronnie Crane, the, the Craze Facebook group. <laughs> it's Ronnie, Ronnie Crane. <laughs> <laughs> the finest digger you've ever seen. <laughs> Best thing you've ever seen, Ronnie Crane. <laughs> a Ronnie Crane Facebook group? Uh, yeah, Ronnie Not and Reggie. Re- like no, and no Reggie. it's all Ronnie and Reggie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's people like... They do pilgrimages to this fucking grave. It's fucking wild, one. Have you done the speaking Edinburgh earlier on? Have you done the dungeon tour? No. 
It's brilliant. I've never been sweating about it either. That tour is brilliant. Yeah. What's that about? Dungeons? They make you jump and all. Like, it's about like Edinburgh is a medieval city and how people like lived under the streets and all ah, this kind of like stuff. It's like Turkey. Turkey, you've got them, haven't you? But it's, it's like there's like, like big massive cities underneath the ground. Yeah. And Turkey, that, isn't but people it? jump out at you know. Do they? Mm-hmm. I, I, up, I right? did the Blackpool version. Right. When I was ten, and it was all just like fucking drama students and that. that's what they said. And they jump out at you and I. Joe, that fight or flight thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the third F. Froze. Oh. I just and I was pet. The definition of petrified. Joe yeah. petrified. <laughs> yeah. Joe only used petrified on Final Fantasy Ten. Yeah, yeah. And you freeze him. Petrify. Right. I was petrified. <laughs> yeah. I was that scared. I was get carried like a <laughs> statue. Joe, like the Mexican heads. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got yes. carried like one of them. <laughs> like, you know, the scare's coming too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've read the book. What? Catching the Rye. Oh, never read it. Oh, did you finish that? Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. start reading it a couple of weeks ago? And Jamie laughed at you, remember? Yeah, I've read that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an intense yeah. one to go in on at the start. I'm yeah, currently was, listening yeah. to uh, Prisoner from Birth by Jeffrey Archer. Why did you listen back to, to books Jeffrey then? Archer? Why not read them? I get too distracted. Book. Remember, he went to jail, and they were like, "You can play tennis and all." Yeah, but I, it's an open prison. If I'm, if I'm, yeah. it's an open book. <laughs> it's an open wound. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when, when I've tried to read books before, Shane, I've read read a page, and then and then I've been on the second page, and I forgot what I've just read. I do that all the time. What's that? What's I that? don't. I, I don't, got, like, I don't forget, but I'm reading. I go fucking hell. I've just seen. I've, 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 in my peripheral visions, just seen Tommy gets fucked here. Yep. Do you know what I mean? I'm See, like reading at one line, yeah. but I'm too excited to get to the next. I have to say, I have to say it out loud in my head because then I can't be saying anything else at the same time. You can be reading and thinking of someone, something else, but if you read it and narrate it out loud in your what, head, what I've been doing now on YouTube, I've been like watching videos on YouTube, and then I've just been skipping ten seconds to the end, but like. Uh, I'm just skipping. I'm skipping. Sometimes I do it with films. Well, a lot of people listen to podcasts on 1.5 speed or 2 speed, which I think is mental. Oh, that's insane, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. That's, that's massive. Thing. Like, yeah. yeah. Podcasts. Yeah. Watch well, us to I, get through it double time. Yeah. I've accidentally done it on a voice note. I'm like, this is too so weird. Yeah, or people that's will listen to audiobooks about business and, you know, how to change your life in five years, and they'll, they'll two speed them. Gotta be like, I, you know, you see people oh, on TikTok, two speed these books, get all the knowledge in, all this kind of stuff. Just in That's just cheating, you know, isn't it? Like, yeah. No wonder you're a fucking dead end prick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cutting you know corners, bro. We can't cut corners, mate. Mm. <laughs> have you seen that dickhead who's like, you're, you're, you're behind me because you, you only have one day. My, my day, my first day starts at 8 a.m. And then finishes at 12, and then I'm on my like, second day. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. A, oh, fuck off, lad. There's a guy who's like, I have 34 more days in the year. That's that probably the same, yeah. yeah. 34 head. more days in a year, hi? You're just not sleeping? I don't know. He's like working out the miles of it, and he's like, This is a way in which I have 34 more days in you. I call it mini holidays. Do you less days, not more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to two speed life. I want to see your TikTok motivational page where you're just trying to like make time go quicker. Oh, that's, <laughs> funny, that. that's, that's a good sketch, you know? yeah. That's, uh, well, well, thanks, Shane. The reverse yeah. business coach? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, we did that last week, didn't we? Diary of a Fat Tramp. Yeah, Diary of a Fat Tramp. On Patreon. Right. The um, Diary of his CEO skit, it was. Has anything wild happened at the live shows recently? Yeah, a couple of fights. Yeah, yeah. fights happened. Over something Jamie specific? Jamie hit behind a pregnant woman as well. I did it, but I, I saved a pregnant woman's life. He hit behind a pregnant woman. I saved a pregnant woman's life. This is, this is what I mean. History's written by the victors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> the guy called Victor. He writes it all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, to be fair, this week's live show was quite nice. Like the crowd were really nice. Like we didn't have any trouble or nothing. Obviously, it was eight o'clock, so it was a bit earlier. Right. Oh, but I had the armband there, difference. mate. Yeah, you went armband. full Stevie G in Istanbul. I did, mate. Still all right. Yeah. Are yeah. oh, you guys drunk during the live ones too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Drunk every day, mate. <laughs> every day. <laughs> as your les- lesson one on the business coaching. That's it. Yeah. Get drunk. Drink. Yeah. Life's hard. Have a drink. Yeah. It numbs the pain. And, and when, life's going, when life's easy, have a drink. drink. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Celebrate definitely going to do that, you know. Just, yeah. just, wear, just wear a shirt and tie. We're just in my undies. Willie, did you check in <laughs> at the accommodation? No, I've been here for a long time. Have right. you checked in with your mental health? Yeah, I've 
it's not good. Uh, not good well, if you use the Coldway green room, better help. <laughs> Have you had any Patreon correspondence this week, Daniel? Oh, you have to give me Uno Mento too. That's Unrather. bullshit. Looking bullshit. forward to the show tonight? Yeah, despite the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Time's a rough one, isn't it, man? I'm emceeing tonight, uh, Comedian of the Year. Or something. In here? Oh. In the year, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. What's it called, Comedian of the Year? It's called British Comedian of the Year. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. You win 10 bags if you win, 10 grand. Oh, what? Is this a final? No. 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 It's it's heat. Heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. I think the judges are going to see me and go, Is hey. there any ringers in? Oh, there's a few There's a few acts that have been going as long as me. Like, Yeah, I love that. Shut up. I'm not saying, listen, oh, that's I'm not that out anymore. Willie T did the BBC New Comedy Awards. You've been doing stand-up for about 37 <laughs> years. There's, there's, no, there's no age limit on this. Oh, isn't there? There's no entry, there's no entry requirements on this. Oh. It's it's just can you win 10 grand? Yeah, Jeff Henderson won it last year. He's been going 30 years. Wow. It's like, headliners can go in it. You win 10,000 and one pound, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's a big, bit it's, it's the biggest, yeah, yeah, as yeah. far as. It's the biggest award in comedy, isn't it? Well, money-wise. Yeah. Why, why we could have entered it? I know, but we, we, um, we're not competition, acts, lad. Competition actually got to go, oh, I'm bisexual and ADHD. Meh. Mum said, stop being greedy. He's sitting over there. Know, <laughs> 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 oh, you want to Because I'm greedy. You want to get seven minutes? Yeah. Fuck oh, that. Man. I'm a. It's my intro. Know, takes me seven minutes just to warm. Yeah. I, oh, Speak. Yeah. Do you, do you do you ever overrun a comedy clubs? Overrun. Or do you try not to. You try to be fresh. I try not to, but it depends. Like if you're told, like this is a hot, like ten minutes. Do not go over. I won't go over. Yeah. But if you're told, do ten if you're having fun. Go yeah, longer. Yeah. Uh, I'll go over a bit. It's quite. Stick. But but ninety nine percent of the time, no. Yeah yeah. Nah, it's quite stick. It's quite stick to you, but I just don't listen. Like it depends. I think if you're closing, it's okay if there's no curfew. Yeah, and they've said and there's no like, short after yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff you're not oh, But if you're if you're opening and you're to do fifteen, me, and you do twenty. <laughs> so you're like some clubs where they go on stage nine twenty seven, off stage nine thirty seven. You think I'm not getting off at forty two? Should look like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think you do, and then you apologise after. So bad. So sorry. I'm so that. sorry about that. <laughs> the zombie bits are eight minutes. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. yeah. Anything, Daniel? Um, so I've done in Patreon. And by the way, if you want to go on Patreon, it's only ten p a day, three pound a month. And that's uh, patreon.com slash hot water's green room. It's fucking so full of bonus content. Can we keep it? Or in February though. Ten p a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a question. The the Puffin Island you went on was a Skellig Mickle. No Rathlin Island. Ah. See, I've seen that Skellig Mick and I really want to Don't tell on. the driver or they'll fucking crack. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks there's other tours. <laughs> Lose his mind. Um, so you asked this on the on the uh, live show a couple of weeks ago, but I'm curious, since you've been calling Shane Colette for the episode. Um, no, he did it once. <laughs> <laughs> and I will not do it again. <laughs> um, what would your drag names be and what would their personas look like? Madison de Burley. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the name and I'd start off it's a black curtain and it's um, as soon as you walked in the joint and then my leg comes out yeah. I could tell you were the man of distinction yeah a real big spender oh so you're are you have you got like the long gloves on I'm seeing like no I've got long legs yeah but but I, I, you sound like a glamorous drag queen that's what yeah, I'm saying yeah 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 cocktail and, dress and, 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 like them fans, your fans wear like a geisha. No, yeah, the, you're like when your fan, you're like you're, you do on your merch style, <laughs> the shades of geisha. Fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just had a witticism about an Irishman abroad. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> what would yours be, Shane? <laughs> um. Mine would be. I, I would. Li I like it when they have slight innuendo in the name. But then I love to just have like hard, aggressive, no real innuendo. You know, just like yeah. loves the cock. And people were like, "Oh, it's not really a play on words <laughs> yeah. as such." Um, like, m yeah, Mrs. loves loves the cock. Mrs. Something the like cock. that. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. a, it's a it's a. I'm a Russian oligarch's wife. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Madison, love the cock. Madison de Burley won the Welsh national. <laughs> Like 15 years ago. Right. I was just, when it won, I was like, this is such a good 
drag name. Yeah. Madison de Burley. Madison de Burley sounds like someone a Premier League team in the 90s would have got linked with for a few <laughs> seasons and yeah. it never happened. Yeah, Villa Like, I imagine we'd have got Madison de Burley. <laughs> yeah. Bernadette Matthews. Yeah. Genius. Excellent. Yeah, you've just got like drumsticks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on. Tickle me nugget. Uh, no, it's a Twizzler. See, <laughs> <laughs> Twizzler. Pull that, make me oink. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that Matthews man, yeah, that'd be good. So, I suggest that we did the drag show f- as a live show. Yeah. W- would you come to that? Is that something you think would be worth watching? Us doing a drag uh, show as part of something else? Yeah, an entire show. Yeah. So I we were talking know. about what we could. Do we lip sync or do we actually sing? Do you know what I'd like I to see? What they do? Maybe you just like come out, do a performance, and then you do the pod in those outfits. Do you want to it? Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> so what I really wanted to do as well, you've just done, you've done it before. Stars in your eyes. Yeah. Oh, we're doing was it again. good? We're doing it again and we're going bigger. It was unbelievable. Are you doing it again? Yeah. If there's any chance of a spot, mate, I am your guy. Would you do it? Yeah. We just do it together because we're doing more like duos and bands this year. What? Oh, oh let's do every night for it. No. The, the, no, crowd, that, the crowd will hit that. Let's, yeah, let's do meatloaf. meatloaf. I'll just was meatloaf. You just was the bed in the red dress. Oh, yeah. You can be Madison. Yeah. The I'll be Madison. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm meatloaf. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're doing it in uh, Ulster Hall. So it's going to be about a th- 1,200 people at least. Where are you guys? You're in a for it. Yeah, yeah. You'll come it. over and do that. We'll yeah. come over and do it. Because I, kn- I know what I'm doing for it. You're not going to say? I'm not gonna say people aren't revealing what that's part of it. Uh, when the oh, audience we just, we just fucked it, man. But don't I mean don't worry, no one see this. But <laughs> like, say it's not it's not <laughs> Yeah, keep it keep it secret. Okay. So, keep we're it not secret. Doing hey, I'll tell you what, tell you what loaf. Willie T over there should have won last year. I did win, sorry, he did win. You he did, did win. win. What's you uh, what's the prize if you win? Uh well it's for a prize. charity of your choice. Oh, should we get to yeah. you know, pat them on the head? Yeah. Kids and that? Yeah. How much you hit that when I was like, there's no cash prize for charity? We're <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know if we can make it now. Uh, <laughs> the Jamie Hutchinson Foundation. <laughs> we do a lot for charity, mate, so we will be there. Um, if, you la- if you have us. 100%. There you go, then. It's done, then. Deal. But yeah, Willie Dave was unbelievable last year because he went out like he was going to do Liam Gallagher and he was going to do Wonderwall. And he sort of went out and people were like, yeah, this will be good. But like, it felt cheesy to do Wonderwall or something. And then he takes off the glasses, takes off the parka. And he's got the Robin suit from Batman and Robin. And he does Eminem without oh, me. That's it. It was brilliant. What did you? I do fucked it. Year? I fucked it. <laughs> I was in the top three, but I, I should I shouldn't have been. It was because it was T with me event. I I I should not have been there. I did the darkness. I believe in a thing called love. I oh, looked spectacular. You look good, but, but I was too like nervous about like the, the singing. Song. I don't like the song either. Me. It's do you know what? It's a it's brilliant really like song it. to play in like yeah, a rock band. It's been really overplayed. You know what I mean? But so it's just, just like yeah. And I could hear what I was bossing. Do you know what I'm saying? Funny if I if I done it on my own. Just, Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Ryan McMullen. Yeah, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Who's that? He's just he's like his mate. Is that yeah, he's an acoustic it? acoustic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever done with No, I'd love to. I love Ryan McMullen, by the way. Do you? Yeah, I love him. Yeah, seen him like twice now. Oh, class. I've seen him. So he did. He for the comedians boxing. He opened the show. That's he was on his way to Glasgow. Suzanne is one of my favourite songs. Oh, that's great! What a cheer! He literally pulled the car in at the Ulster Hall on his way to the boat to go to Glastonbury. Sang Belfast City for us, and then oh, away he went to Glasgow. Have you, have you uh, done with Canada? No, no, no. Oh, he's good. Is he good? Yeah. Would you st- Would you just do like? Uh, would comedians boxing ever happen here? We, we, we've we've talked about what we want. We're going to do like big call out videos and stuff. Me and B versus Tony. Like a proper social media, like hate. Proper each press other. conference. We won't so. release an episode for three weeks. Yeah, say like, the pod's cancelled. Like proper fell out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper fell out over money and that. Unfollow each other. And then yeah. we get in the middle of the ring and we just snog and, just and then get off each other. Make love, not war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And send the political message out there. Yes. And the fans would love it and the, uh, and the crowd would be on But we just like, we just, you know, but, like, we hug and kiss and just like yes. roll around yeah, on the floor yeah. and everyone's yeah. like, yeah. boo, yeah. we're like, fuck you. I'm biting yeah. his ear and I'm trying to make his donkey yawn. <laughs> trying to eat his Twizzler. <laughs> 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 I 
Jamie Oliver says I can't. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Well, that's been a fantastic episode. Thank you very much for coming on, mate. Boys, thank we, you very we much. Always love having you on, mate. Uh, yeah, have you got anything to plug then? Are you obviously on tour, aren't you, at the moment? So These shows already happened here, but sheandtalkcomedy.com for... Hey, listen, we have listeners in, like, the Bristol and shit. Yes. I've been. Uh, I wish I could have come out before. We've got, because like, two in Portsmouth. Uh... I think all the UK ones will be done. Cork, We've got one Dublin, Iraqi Dallas. last. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just only one, though. He loves it. He right. loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I'm doing Europe dates. Oh, we've got, yeah, we've got. We'll just see what. A couple in. We're going to see what happens, so that's, that's a free hit. Yeah. It's just. I'm doing Paris. Paris, Harlem. Polo Theatre, uh, Amsterdam, Oslo, Berlin. Barcelona. I don't think we've got a German fan, sorry. Ah. Listen, if you're a foreign muck. Easy guy. I thought that was Bernard Matthews, Joe. Not <laughs> <laughs> right, much, yeah. Shane. One of Cheers, our favourite guests. Squatch tea with me and all the other stuff that he's produced at the moment. Absolute killer. We love him. You love him as well. Um, sign up to Patreon, please. It's only three quid a month, and we're in dire need. slash tea with me. As well. After hours, obviously. Tea with me on uh, manscaped.com for 20% off free shipping. Oh, These yeah. guys don't offer the free shipping. We do. We do. Twenty percent off and free shipping. When you click through it, it, it charges you. I'm kidding. <laughs> I, <laughs> I deliver it. Just be careful. I deliver it. Now that is where free part. Uh, how much? Manscaped. Can you spend that? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's priceless, Tony. Yeah. Such a good product. Thank you. Ta-da. Bye. Everybody,